And welcome back to Unnecessary Invention. So today we have a very special holiday themed episode with an invention that I already have completely finished. One sec. Introducing the Instatensor. So I built this invention about three weeks ago when I went on the Kelly Clarkson show, which will be airing next Friday, December 13th. So go check that out. But here we have an air powered ornament shooter so that you can decorate your tree in absolutely record time. I actually built one beforehand that I completely messed up, but this one I think just sort of looks like a pipe bomb, so I don't really know what to do with it, and so it's no good. So today we're gonna go shopping for a fake tree, we're gonna get a whole bunch of ornaments, and we're gonna make an absolute mess decorating my Christmas tree in the most unnecessary way possible. So basically we use a bike pump to pump this thing up, get the air all set, stand back, and blast. So without wasting any more time, the first thing that we need to do is go to the store, pick up a tree, pick up the ornaments, and then we can get decorating. So uh, let's go do it. So one thing I forgot to mention is that that cannon that I built is built off of the King of Randoms video for making a t-shirt gun. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the link down in the description so that you can go ahead and check out that for yourself and maybe build one. I can't say I'm too proud of it, but here we are. I'm really hoping that this is a one-stop shop and they have everything that I need to make the most unnecessary Christmas tree. So let's see what they got. One-stop shop, mission accomplished. So let's head back to the studio and start putting this tree together. All right, let's get this bad boy set up. So I have no idea what goes into actually putting this thing together, but we are about to find out. I think it said somewhere that it was an easy prop or something like that. Fingers crossed. Would you just look at that tree? I was a little bit skeptical buying the artificial tree. I almost bought a real one. I think this thing looks gorgeous. And I'm gonna have it for a lifetime. My entire life is gonna be with this tree. So now that we have our Christmas tree, it is time to get decorating. So the first order of business with the Insta Tinsel, I think, is gonna have to be testing out these shatterproof, supposedly shatterproof ornaments. I think we should just load up a few of these and just fire it at the wall and see if they do shatter. So let's bust these open. Hopefully they're small enough. Oh yeah, they're small enough. We have them locked and loaded, so let's get some air into this and fire away. So the way the Insta Tinsel works is that you take a normal bike pump, fill it up with pressure, and the whole tube fills up with pressure, and then when you release it all out the back, it shoots all the air out the front, and all of your stuff goes flying. So let's pump it up. The valve is closed. You ready? Did they shatter? Uh-oh, we've got a little bit of damage. Shatterproof, proven incorrect. Let's go find the rest of them. Okay, we have a few that went behind me. We got this guy. This one's still intact, I think. We got some over here. Okay, for the most part, we are hanging in there. So far, only one broken. Oh, another casualty. One made it all the way back here. And it survived, I think. So I would say that it's safe to assume that 80% of the time they're going to be shatterproof, but you know, only under the most extreme conditions here in the Unnecessary Invention Studio. Let's get decorating this tree. And of course, for its namesake, I think we need to try out some tinsel. You know, it is called the Insta Tinsel, so I think we have to give it the official tinsel test. I think I'm just gonna go and just straight put this directly into the barrel and see what happens when we fire it at the tree. Get this stuff 
nice and into the barrel. We can leave a little bit hanging out. Pump it up and let's shoot. We're now working in slow-mo, so let's see what this can do. And we missed the tree. So it basically kind of stayed in this giant ball from shoving it into the barrel. So I think the next thing that I want to do is cut this up into a bunch of little pieces so that it acts more like confetti and it rains down on, oh, was that? so that it rains down onto the tree and decorates it that way. Because I need to get in the holiday spirit ASAP and get this tree decorated. I am running out of time. So cue slow-mo attempt number two. Okay, a little bit of success of getting the tinsel on the tree. We had a few changes that made a big difference. So first off, I did these smaller pieces, which I think was a success. And then I also decreased the amount of pressure that I had within the barrel itself. And then I also aimed it a little bit more lower at the tree instead of higher up. And I think that definitely helped out. So to me, this is a win. And I think we should now move on to the Christmas lights and see how those do. And here we have an enormous set. I'm afraid that these are gonna break. I need to figure out what my game plan is because with the tinsel, when it was one giant blob, it wasn't the best. What if I connected one side to the tree already and then sort of shot it the other direction so it wraps around it? I'm gonna try that out. Get these bad boys completely untangled. Okay, pumping up for the Christmas lights. Okay, we got, let's see, we got a little bit of a wrap. We got one, we got one wrap around there. But I think I want to try here is just a smorgasbord of ornaments all inside the barrel and see what happens. We are locked and we are locked and loaded for another blast. Let's go give this another shot. Okay, we got some ornaments on there, and we also got some all the way in the back. It's still intact though, which is good. It's uh, not shattered. We have a half shattered one up there, and a few on the ground. So I think the Insta Tinsel is absolutely living up to its hype. I mean, look at this tree. It's gorgeous. We've got ornaments, we've got tinsel, we've got our lights all set up in completely, absolutely, 100% record time. <sighs> However, in a perfect world, let's, uh, let's see what the Insta Tinsel would actually look like. So I personally do not see a difference between that tree I just decorated and this work of art right here, but you know, I think one thing we can all agree on is the Insta Tinsel is the tool of the future. I think it would only be appropriate to give this invention the official rating of 10 hipster Santas out of 10. Don't forget to head on over to Instagram and check out the official product photos of the Insta Tinsel. Do not forget to go click the link down below and go check out the brand new Unnecessary Invention store. Go pick up maybe my book, maybe a piece of fanny pack for someone this holiday season. If you would like to see more completely unnecessary inventions on this channel, go ahead and uh, smash. If you want to see, if you want to see more,
completely. If you want to see, if you, if you want to see more completely unnecessary inventions, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, give me a giant thumbs up on this video. That is going to be all I have for today. So I will see you at the next invention. See ya!